right? Yeah. So, uh, can't I replace uh, Benadryl? Uh, like, can't I replace Benadryl with Corex and Torex and some other serums? Yeah, you can. But okay. this is a depend on the how you, you are coughing because okay. sometimes this is a. Uh, that is absolutely fine. So, can you tell me that in how many shapes or mm. you know mediums a medicine can be consumed? as we have tablet syrup yes okay okay i got your point good morning good afternoon and good evening ladies and gentlemen we are starting a very nice series today and this series is about the conversation and the talk and the interview about expertise we want to build the confidence and the information and knowledge of our students so that they can transform themselves and they can also update it themselves today we have a very special interview in this happiness institute about expertise and so we have mr sumer the training and the happiness the student of happiness institute and his expertise is actually medicine so sumer first of all i want your introduction uh, thank you so much first of all i want to say thank you so much uh, for giving this opportunity uh, to present myself in front of you so i am sumer and i am a pharmacist drug expert we can say and i am a part of this institute hmm. and uh, i have been uh, uh, a part of this institute for, for last 3 months and uh, i am right now i am working as a medical representative basically i have to promote the medicines front of people that is my job profile and i am completely from delhi and i have uh, i live in delhi at uh, silampur with my uh, parents and with my whole family so that's all about me okay so you have given your profile and your expertise that medicines right yes so how did you get, generate this interest that you gave me the point of asking few questions related to medicines how confident you are about medicine and why yeah actually uh, this is a good question sir and uh, i would like to say that uh, from the starting hmm. i had a very deep interest in the biology sir and in a biology specifically we talk about the body system so that's a reason i want to become a doctor but due to some reasons i don't want to go in a deep what are what were the these uh, that uh, like reasons but yes uh, i have like still now i have the lot of interest in the related to bodies and medicines how they work in our body and uh, how the medicines react in our body and causes the symptomatic relief and cure the disease so uh, so i didn't uh, uh, i didn't like uh, go to the uh, mbbs for mbbs so but i have the uh, interest in the medicines okay. so that's why i choose b farm okay fine that's uh, great that you have explained me about your past uh, yes. uh, you know incident and the thought uh, that you were having to just be a doctor but unfortunately you could not yes. be the doctor yeah. and you became a pharmacist yeah. right okay so let's talk about the journey of pharmacy but first of all i want to ask you that the system of medical like how can i open or start my own medical if i want to start okay so if you want to start your medical shop or medical pharmacy so you uh, should have done uh, b farm or d farm bachelor in pharmacy or diploma in pharmacy mm. so diplo d farm is a diploma in pharmacy is a two years uh, uh, two years uh, course uh, you uh, can after uh, you can do it after 12th and b farm is a bachelor degree a four year course and after the uh, doing the diploma or the bachelor degree you, uh, you got uh, you will get the uh, diploma certificate or bachelor certificate with the additional uh, license medical license okay, so fine. by uh, by that you can open the okay so what i need to go like i need to go for b pharma and d pharma yes right so by b pharma and d pharma i can be eligible to start a medical yes okay i want to ask you like what are differences among this bums bhms bams bds mbbs md what are these degrees i want to understand actually sir uh, we talk about the bams the bachelor in ayurveda medical mm. uh, like uh, mm. related to ayurveda mm. course and bhm is related to homeopathy hmm. so ayurveda as we know already the indian has a very had a very past about the ayurveda hmm. because i want to uh, 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 let we all hmm. go into the past 
that in the starting about uh, like five uh, five yeah, 1500 BC to 600 you see hmm. there's a Ayurveda system called hmm. the Veda system hmm. so Veda system and then the classic period we have to uh, to check uh, 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 like uh, two books of Ayurveda and then the colonial period the Eastern uh, uh, Western and Eastern Europe uh, is, uh, like coming the uh, work supposed to coming the medicines in the India and then from the on 19th century af after the 19th century then the chemicals majority uh, came in India mm. uh, and this uh, in, like the this gave the revolution to the related to the allopathic medicines uh. so Ayurveda is a BAMS course uh, mm. in which the uh, doctor has to prescribe the uh, only Ayurveda medicines mm. but still they are prescribing the allopathic medicines because mm. they ha they don't have uh, any alternative because everyone in this world okay. so let's talk about actually you know as you mentioned about Ayurveda mm. and then you diverted to this allopathic medicine yeah. and there is medium somewhere there is also homeopathic medicine yeah. but I want to know the differences between Ayurveda and you know allopathy yeah ayurveda was very popular as yeah. you said that yes, in the colonial yes. or before colonial. Yeah. so why the people are preferring now allopathic medicine because it cures yes. in a short period of time yeah it you are right it cures in a short period of time but uh, have uh, as i am also back uh, from the background the allopathy medicines mm. but i want to say uh, 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 very truly mm. that uh, uh, every medicines has a side effect so, hmm. so allopathic medicines has a more side effect as compared to the Ayurveda as well as homeopathy medicines so but yeah they give the immediate effect even the symptomatic relief immediate symptomatic relief but yes uh, somehow they can alter our sometimes genes our many mechanisms in our body hmm. uh, so that uh, uh, we are like we will see the uh, symptoms unwanted but as there is a saying that the more consumption of medicines give us side effects yes. maybe the side effect of digestion yeah. your body function yeah. your brain problems yes. and it may give you any side effect yes. so why doctors always whenever you rush to the doctor doctors prescribe the medicines and we start consuming medicines how do you see this being a pharmacist being a pharmacist it is good sir uh, because uh, uh, whoever whenever uh, like uh, suffered from any disease uh, they are supposed to go to the doctor of course and uh, in every doctor whether it is a ayurveda doctor homeopathy doctor allopathy doctor every uh, there is a great rush because uh, our lifestyle is not good so yes i can see as yes, uh, by taking the allopathic medicines the people are uh, very happy because they, uh, it gives the instant effect so it is good but they are not knowing na, exactly what is happening with the body because unwanted side effect is there but yes being a pharmacist i know the consequences of overuse the allopathic medicines but they are not uh, like they are not uh, know the truth exactly so maybe the this is a lack of the knowledge lack okay. of information lack of information and lack of knowledge I also want to check your knowledge as a pharmacist yes. because you have mentioned multiple times that you are pharmacist. So I want to know, first of all, I want to ask a few medicines name that what is the and what are the use of this medicine. My first question, what is Dolo? Dolo is a paracetamol. It is used as an antipyretic and the uh, uh, anti-inflammatory drugs. Okay. What is uh, Panado? Panado is a band name or molecule name? It's a molecule name, I think. No, I don't I'm not know. Not sure? No. What is Citrim? Citrim? Citrim. Hmm. I don't okay. know. Anaprox? Anaprox is like used to treat the uh, like cardiac no, medicines. It's, it's used to treat that fever? It's used for fever as Dolo is also used for fever. I don't know where, uh, where are you from, like where from you getting okay. this type of. Uh, but these are not these general, are general not medicines. No, so common. Dolo is a common. Dolo is a common. Yeah, Dolo is a common. But uh, there was a great shortage of uh, Dolo in, in during COVID pandemic. Time, during yes, pandemic. yeah, you're right. Okay, uh, what is uh, pentrit? Pentrit? Are you penta pre uh, penta uh, maybe the anti acid. Okay, it's a, what is paracin? Tamo. Tamol, paracetamol. Is it, is it related to paracetamol? Yes, paracetamol, but it is not mm, not common use the medicines. Dolo and uh, some 
other also used but these names so these uh, these medicines are not used okay what is benadryl 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 is a cough syrup sir okay cough syrup is also uh, uh, advertisement benadryl hame de zukham se aaram i think you should take the benadryl because <laughs> you are suffering from <laughs> that's absolutely yeah. that i will be having benadryl right yeah. so uh, can't i replace uh, benadryl uh, like can't i replace benadryl with corex and torex and some other syrups yeah you can but okay. this is a uh, depend on the how you, you are coughing because okay. sometimes this is a uh, uh, uh like uh, dry cough maybe a wet cough is a wet cough is cough there is other salt you, you should use and for dry cough you should use this medicine okay. so. so for if i have a uh, uh, cough with sneezing so what should i take uh, you think uh, you should use the uh, anti hypertensive drug cetirizine and uh, uh, liver cetirizine is also there in the form of syrup you can use this type of drugs and if i have high fever if you have high fever you should use uh, firstly the uh, pcm 650 mg mm -hmm. and then still you are like 3 uh, days uh, you are uh, crossed but you don't uh, feel mm -hmm. you don't uh, feel the uh, uh, proper uh, not fever, fever. Mm -hmm. so you can you, you can take the antibiotic maybe the anti antiviral drug you can also if use. i have high cholesterol If you have a high cholesterol, there is a you should uh, take the statins. The statin. statins are mostly in the market. Atorva statin, Rosuva statin, mm -hmm. many statins are in the, in the market, sir. If I have high BP, BP is linked with the uh, high cholesterol. High, uh, you uh, if you have. Uh, like a high bp so mm. doctor prescribe the diagnosis that uh, your uh, body profile and your lipid profile in lipid profile there is a total cholesterol in mm. which the ldlc hdlc triglyceride level is mm. and you should uh, if you uh, if you are healthy the, uh, then you should maintain uh, the ldlc uh, at below the 80 and uh, triglyceride level quite uh, uh, low and hdl you should raise up uh, mm. more than the 15 or 20 mm. so if you have the high bp the doctor may prescribe as a anti hypertensive drug and tell me certain and uh, ldlc control for there is a atorva statin rosuva statin there is also a non statin therapy which is commonly used in during the, these times uh, the bempedic acid one year ago this molecule established in india bempedic mm. acid is al an another alternative mm. so these types of drugs you can use uh, for uh, maintaining the good bp okay. so i want to no because i just went through some of the information as i found that over counter drugs prescriptions medicines yes. and complementary medicines yes, so yes. i want to know about all these three please actually uh, this over the counter drugs are those drugs hmm. you don't need any prescription hmm. you just go to the medicine or pharmacy person hmm. just give the yeah dolo de dena hmm. so easily without prescription over the counter like hmm. count over the counter hmm. Hmm. without any prescription hmm. and second one is what prescription It's prescription, prescription medicine you know that uh, after the proper consultation hmm. and proper diagnosis uh, doctor prescribe the drug for you and hmm. you can and what about complementary medicine complementary uh, drugs are those drugs like multivitamin you can add with this to like to good health like uh, most uh, multivitamins hain and uh, uh, folic acid hain folic acid, acid yes so okay. during pregnancy mein folic acid mm -hmm. so these are complementary medicines means these are not mandatory or uh, these yeah. are yes uh, these are not mandatory they complement complement these are not life uh, life saving drugs okay. we can say. these are not life saving yes drugs. we can so say. we can get it uh, from any shop or any store right it's easy to get easy to get even i uh, wanna give a, one example mm. that uh, my father Uh, on ye yesterday my father uh, had a cataract surgery mm. so doctor prescribed some uh, opthal ophthalmic medicines and he also prescribed some multivitamins and mm. it cost about 570 rupees per 30 tablet mm. so i just uh, stop the i don't uh, wanna purchase it why uh, because, because it's not because mandatory yes it's not mandatory and i have another alternative of multivitamin mm. which comes in a on uh, less cost less price. and i will give okay him. that is absolutely yeah. fine that is absolutely fine so can you tell me that in how many shapes or mm. you know mediums a medicine can be consumed as we have tablet syrup injection yes okay okay i got your point so first of all we oral and uh, oral drugs mm. we can direct use by the in a tablet form mm. in a cup form and mm. and second is uh, ophthalmic 
mm-hmm. and uh, third is respiratory we can take the like uh, okay. uh, uh, through uh, through the salbutamol injection we okay. can uh, mm-hmm. direct as a like mm-hmm. uh, I, i don't like uh, i have no how that proper specific word in my mind mm-hmm. so these are and other drugs are like um, some the patches is also patches are patches there. also coming mm-hmm. and uh, intravenous injection mm-hmm. intrabolus injection mm-hmm. and intramuscular injection is mm-hmm. also there mm-hmm. and so these are these are the drugs ointment is also what is the complement of this antibiotic right here why do we have antibiotic and why to add antibiotic actually in our body mm. there is a good bacteria mm. and a bad bacteria mm. good bacteria helps us in body for digestion mm. and many for many purposes and uh, for unwanted bacteria mm. the doctor prescribe the antibacterial antibiotic and antibacterial drugs comes into do bactericidal and bacteriostatic mm. bacteriostatic means uh, that type of medicines which kill the bacteria okay and bacteriostatic means which stop the Uh, growth of the bacteria in our okay. body so depend on the uh, like on the trend like sometimes mm. the dengue is very common mm. to, uh, to mm. for a specific period of mm. time and sometimes uh, in particular disease specific diseases are common for the uh, for a particular mm. uh, time so according to on that trend mm. uh, doctor prescribe the anti bacterial so tell me trend. some of the brands of medicines brands are so, uh, so many brands uh, that uh, I have you uh, say streptococcus pneumoniae is also a bacteria and the many no, if we talk about that the company's name the company brand's name okay, uh, okay. company mm-hmm. brand name is uh, one is uh, clerthrel from the cipla and uh, i know i'm talking about yes company brands names like we yes. have cipla yes. we have uh, sun pharma okay only so brand i i i just thought the antibacterial uh, no, no, yeah no. there is a lot of company for hmm. first of all sun pharma hmm. the first ranked company second hmm. is lupin company third is cipla company fourth hmm. is intas company fifth is ajanta company sixth is torrent company and seventh is uh, uh, medivis company eighth is uh, himalaya company and ninth is uh, uh, so many companies uh, okay ninth is like even game is also there i have only eight companies list and okay. you have told me nine yeah. so you are getting the victory exactly that is absolutely fine okay so let me move also to some of the your uh, some of medicines or some of uh, medicines name and uh, i would like to just go with that Uh, you know what is met for met for me yeah mm. it is a very good drug and i have a lot of knowledge related to this drug please met for me is a sugar controlling mm. like uh, if you have fever now we go firstly with the paracetamol mm. and god forbid mm. if we have the sugar we should go first with the metformin mm. metform uh, metformin is a anti diabetic drug which is used to treat the ma- uh, diabetes in early days mm-hmm. we suppose you are diagnosed with the diabetes before 4 to day, uh, like 4 days ago mm-hmm. so doctor will firstly prescribe the metformin why because who world health organization have the guidelines that you should uh, only use the metformin in early days if someone has the diabetes okay. and many rssdi is also there from the indian body the metformin is used how it will work it will depend on the uh, insulin Like when a medicine is authorized yes. and how it is authorized only by WHO hmm. or also by indian some indian organization no. actually if some company wants to authorization for any product they spent a lot of time and lot of his money about 10 years uh, research and development on the particular molecule hmm. and trillions and billions of money hmm. Uh, uh, done uh, like uh, spent yeah, over the uh, on the particular mm. uh, research molecule mm. after that what happen if uh, a physical and chemical properties of that molecule particular molecule are in, uh, in the favorable condition mm. then this uh, will go to the clinical trials and clinical trials di- um, uh, divide into many uh, clinical trial first clinical trial second clinical mm. trial third mm. clinical uh, clinical trial fourth and then after the, the drug will come in the market then a post marketing surveillance is also occur for a particular molecule so if uh, medicines mm. are passed over the, these or mm. uh, four trials clinical mm. first clinical it will take a, 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 around 5 to 10 years 5 to 10, 10 years, years. 
देन देन आफ्टर दैट डब्ल्यू एच ओ यू एस एफ डी ए डब्ल्यू एच ओ इज अनदर डब्ल्यू एच ओ इज इंटरनेशनल सो फर्स्ट ऑल यू एस एफ डी अप्रूव एंड इंडियन बॉडी डी सी जी आई इज ऑल्सो अप्रूव डी सी जी आई इज अंडियन बॉडी डी सी आई डी सी जी आई डी सी जी आई ड्रग कंट्रोलर जनरल ऑफ इंडिया वट डू यू मीन बाई एस्पिरिन एस्पिरिन इज यूज टू ट्रीट द फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एंटी एज एंटीपायरेटिक यू नो वॉट इज एंटीपायरेटिक एंटीपायरेटिक so what is this antibiotic is a uh, term which is, is uh, antibiotic medicines are those medicines which mm. is used to treat the fever mm. we can say only that's absolutely and uh, aspirin also have another role this is anti thrombotic anti thrombotic yeah anti thrombotic means they uh, does not allow to clot the platelets okay they do not allow to clot the pl- platelets that's yes, clotting so, clotting okay, now clotting. like uh, only blood or platelet only platelets blood related or blood? blood related, related to, to blood, blood. blood. Yes. Okay. platelets are part of a blood blood so is it a part of wbc or rbc Platelet. Platelets is another. Another thing. RBC, WBC, and platelets. D- different things. Yeah. So, like when the bl- it bleeds, so there is a clotting. Yes. So that's blood clotting. That's not yes. a platelet clotting. Yes. Yes. That's yes. blood clotting. Platelets. Yeah. This is platelets. It's platelets. Yeah. The thrombotic factor is occurs in a only platelets. Okay. Component of blood. Why doctor suggests that please have kiwi to increase the platelets? Because kiwi has uh, those uh, God gifted. Uh, mechanism of action like uh, there is a several factors by which the, the formation of platelets depend and that uh, all, all other factors are in the kiwi okay. that's why it's fine that's great antiseptics antiseptic which is used to treat the infection basically dis- uh, uh, antiseptic mainly you know, uh, we can use as a topical form you know okay. what is topical form topical form is that kind of topical medicines are that kind of medicines which hmm. is used only to apply on the skin only okay. upper level not, not take in a, in the body just topically apply okay. so disinfectant you can the last question yes which is very close to me and close to max number of the people that there are two types of medicines one is generic and yes. another is brand yeah so what should we do what should we choose it is very important mm. important topic and people should know mm. what are the exactly the branded medicines and the generic medicines first of all uh, i go with to the branded medicines mm. as i told you that uh, for bring the particular medicines in a marketing it will t- it would take around 5 to 10 years and a mm. l- uh, lot of money and with proper research and development mm. and with proper research alone of course the money has to be spent on it so branded medicines have just suppose a brand medicines uh, authorize a particular medicines from the international bodies and from the india so they grant a patent for a specific period of time we can say for the 5 years or a 10 years mm. and he grant uh, it grant uh, the company uh, granted the uh, like uh, patent na patent for us so so why because uh, these are of, of course uh, the company has spent a lot of money so of course he try to make a uh, like uh, roi return of uh, investment mm-hmm. we can say so that's why brand medicines are quite at high, a high rate high price, but yeah. with the proper investigation proper research development mm. with the proper testing with the proper packaging mm. with the proper marketing uh, uh, like with the proper uh, marketing strategy okay. we can say Great. so we should uh, uh, like we always uh, safe side uh, if we use the branded medicines okay that's why first thing is that's why the cost is high but now what happen there's a let's just i uh, suppose a uh, company granted a patent for a 5 years hmm. and a day will come that uh, that uh, patent get off hmm. so now these jo uh, like other brand uh, like we can say the generic medicines hmm. took a raw material of that molecule from the branded molecule just uh, uh, your patent is off now we can use and hmm. we can sell we can uh, marketing that particular drug so it is directly uh, 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 like Mm. it directly comes Com- uh, he direct uh, directly uh, uh, lene uh, leta hai like mm. to say it takes he takes sells he takes and sells mm. at a cheaper mm. uh, cheaper why because uh, uh, there is no need to research and development mm. and so on and so on because already used by the, uh, that particular uh, branded med- uh, mm. branded company for 5 mm. years so he it is sure that yes uh, so that's why okay. low, low fine 
Thank you so much and it was really a nice talk and conversation interview and you are getting so many marks because I think multiple questions that I asked you and you have given me the right answers. Somewhere you got confused in yes. somewhere like you know I just asked about Beniline or yeah. uh, Panado and Citrem. Uh, so you got some confusions but you explained me properly about aspirin, paracetamol, yes. antacid and it was fantastic answer from your side. And I would like to say that and I also read about hemophilia, medicine hemophilia be it used for I and know. it's hemgenics. Hem the medicine yeah, hemogenics is a world costless medicine. Costless medicine. I, I told you, uh, I will tell you about mm. that. Uh, mm. Hemophilia mm. is a disease mm. like in which the blood uh, doesn't clot. Mm. Okay. If you, uh, God, if you, God forbid, mm. if you cut by, uh, like if you have a hemophilia mm. and you cut, your blood never stops. And one That's time will come flow. that your your entire blood die. complete blood will be flowing. Yes, the hemophilia is that condition. And it's for one dose, it's for 28 crore, 58 yes. lakhs rupees. Yes, dollar mm, uh, uh, 3.5 million per dose. Yeah. And uh, it is uh, actually gene therapy. Hmm. Hmm. That's why it is costly. Gene therapy is uh, like we have genes in our body also. Hmm. So, gene alter like gene alteration, hmm. I told you now that several factors is responsible for the uh, platelet aggregation mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, several are responsible so mm -hmm. that gene uh, gene alteration what has uh, this type of drugs the gene mm -hmm. alter and after the gene alteration mm -hmm. uh, uh, gene uh, after the gene alteration genes uh, uh, like uh, uh, us, uh, us reception uh, jo, like gene uh, gene jo hai, mm -hmm. So, उस पर्टिकुलर फैक्टर्स को क्या कर देंगे एग्जीगेट कर देंगे उन्हें स्टिमुलस प्रोवाइड कर देंगे दे गिव द स्टिमुलस यू यू शुड मिस दिस हेम जेनिक्स इज यूज फॉर टू स्टॉप द ब्लड ब्लड इट क्लॉट्स द ब्लड इट क्लॉट्स द ब्लड इट क्लॉट्स द ब्लड इट्स नॉट फॉर अगेंस्ट क्लॉटिंग इट्स एक्चुअली इन फेवर ऑफ क्लॉट ओके बिकॉज़ सम हाउ वी क्लॉटिंग इज आल्सो नेचुरल इफ इज नेसेसरी फॉर आवर बॉडीज ओके एग्जैक्टली इट वाज नाइस टॉक अबाउट मेडिसिन इट वाज द फर्स्ट इंटरव्यू ऑफ दिस सीरीज एंड एपिसोड and ladies and gentlemen this was great the Sumer answered properly about medicines and he showed the expertise about medicines we will be conducting some more talks and interviews with our students and trainees about some expertise and they will be and we will be checking their knowledge thank you so much okay.